Hey guys, my name is Andrew Simba Conference Guide, here with another video tutorial, and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up RhythmBot on your Discord server. Now first things first, what is RhythmBot? What does it do? And why should I have it on my server? Well, RhythmBot can join the voice chat that you're in and play music. This is pretty useful if you're like gaming with your friends, and you're in a voice chat channel and you just want to keep the mood nice and upbeat, you can make the bot play some music for you. So to add this bot to your server, first go to rhythmbot.co, or just click the link in the description, which will bring you to the bot's website. So once you're here, head over to the right side of the screen, and click add to discord and then that will take you to this page where you can select the server you want rhythmbot to go in so just select that next it'll want you to confirm that you want to give this bot administrator rights on your server and then it'll ask if you're a robot so this is a really important part guys you need to make sure you just need to check that you're not a robot i know it sounds tough guys but i believe in you so once you've confirmed that you aren't a robot, go ahead and go through the reCAPTCHA. And once this little green check mark appears, the bot will automatically join the server you selected earlier. So now that we have RhythmBot in our server, how do we use it? Well, there are a great number of things we can do with RhythmBot, but in this video, I'm only going to showcase the commands that I find the most useful. Now keep in mind that all of these commands have to have an exclamation point at the beginning of it. Otherwise, RhythmBot won't recognize it as a command. So with that being said, the first command we're going to be looking at is the play command. Nothing too fancy here, just gives you the ability to play the song of your choice by either typing in the name of the song or pasting the YouTube link to it. Now what's really cool about RhythmBot is that you can make a queue of songs to play. So if you use the play command multiple times, RhythmBot will create a song queue and add those songs to that queue. So that's epic. Next is the NP command, which I assume stands for now playing, because when you use it, the bot tells you what it's currently playing. And that's it! Next is Skip, which allows you to skip to the next song in the queue. Or if your queue is empty, it'll just stop. Next is Seek, which allows you to go to a certain point in the song that's playing. SoundCloud searches SoundCloud for your song instead of YouTube. So if you dislike YouTube that much, then you can play your music from SoundCloud. Remove delete the specified song from the queue. Loop Q does just that. You know, just loops the queue over and over again. <laughs> search lets you see the YouTube search results for the song you want. So this is pretty useful if you want a better sense of control over what song you're playing, because you're, you know, actually choosing the video yourself. Skip2 skips to the specified region of the queue, so if you don't want to type exclamation point skip multiple times, then this is the command you want to use. Q shows you what's in the queue, shuffle shuffles the queue, clean deletes the bot messages and commands in the chat, and clear clears the queue. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at are the settings. So first to see the list of settings, just type exclamation point settings. Then RhythmBot will give you the list of settings you can change. And the first group here are the prefix settings. Now if we type the given command here, we will be given a command which allows us to change the prefix for the RhythmBot commands. So in other words, we can change it so we don't have to put an exclamation point at the start of every command. We can basically make it anything that's five characters or less. So we can make it question mark if we wanted to. We can make it underscore if we wanted to. Heck, we could even make it LOL if we wanted to. So if we wanted RhythmBot to play music, we type lol play and then whatever song we want. This is pretty helpful because some bots also use exclamation point as their prefix. I think it's me6 that also has exclamation point as its prefix, so that can be really annoying when you want to tell rhythm to do something, but me6 keeps coming in uninvited, so this command can prevent those crossups by allowing you to change the prefix, which in the long run is very helpful. Next in the settings section is blacklist, which allows you to prevent people from using rhythm bot and select text channels. So if you blacklist a channel by typing prefix settings blacklist, then the channel name, whenever someone tries to use RhythmBot in that channel, RhythmBot won't follow that command. It'll only say that the channel cannot be used for commands. This command is helpful if you have a defined text channel for RhythmBot, and you want to make everyone use that channel for that purpose. To the right of blacklist, we have autoplay, but unfortunately this is for donators only, so we won't be covering that in this video. Next is announce songs, which gives you the ability to enable or disable RhythmBot's ability to announce songs. After that is the max queue length which allows you to limit the length of the queue. If you have this enabled, you can have it set to any number between 10 and 10,000? What are you doing if you have 10,000 songs queued in RhythmBot? What are you doing that takes 10,000 songs to do? Next is Max User Songs, which allows you to limit the number of songs each user can add to the queue. You can enable this by typing prefix, settings, max user songs, and either a number from 1 to 10,000, or if you want to disable it, type disable. The next setting is the duplicate song prevention. So with this command, you can prevent users from adding multiple of the same song to the queue, which is pretty helpful, especially if you don't want to hear raining tacos five times in a row. To the right of duplicate songs, we have default volume, which is for donators only. Hilarious. And then we have the set DJ role. Now this is actually really cool, because you can make a role in your server, which contains the sort of rhythm bot specialists. So here you can set that role. And then if you want, you can make it so that only the rhythm bot DJs can use the rhythm bot, with DJ only and DJ only playlists enabled. And then at the very bottom here, we can reset the settings if we want to. 
And that does it for this basic overview of RhythmBot. I think I covered just about everything, but if I did miss something, please let me know in the comments, and I will try to make a video on that. And if you have any questions, comments, or thoughts, please leave them in the comment section down below. And other than that, I've been Andrew, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.